Hello world, this is WhatsUp290 here, and in today's video I'll be showing you a program called Low Orbit Ionic Cannon and how to use it to ping flood stre uh, network stress test, um, how to uh, DOS with it. Now I'm going to tell you something right now. If you choose to DOS somebody with a, um, without a, um, permission, yes, that is illegal, and what is DOS? It's basically you have a whole, you have a computer or DDoS, which which stands for Distributed Denial of Service, and DOS just stands for Denial of Service, flooding a server all at one point until the server just basically dies because it can't handle it any, anymore. But that is illegal. I'm not showing you how to do that in hopes that you'll go out how to crash websites. Use this program program responsibly. Okay, so basically you'll want to uh, put in the IP addresses. I'm not actually going to DOS anything because, well, A, I'm not connected to the internet right now, and B, I don't want to get in trouble. But basically, host is the better one to use than URL because you can put website names and IP addresses, whereas with website, whereas, whereas uh, if you go to URL, you have to put a website name. Whereas your host will, will take IP, not only website names, but IP addresses as well. So once you, once you, uh, I'm just going to type in a random IP address, 1.7.1.8.1, click get. And once you put in the website name or like the IP address it'll, and click get, it'll show up right here. You have to click get, otherwise it's not going to work. Okay, so you can basically use leave, use the leave these things right here. Timeout just means how long it'll wait, which doesn't really matter. Uh, this one, they don't actually see this message, but you can, sh in my experience, they don't actually see this message. But still, you can change it if you want, you know. Um, and then uh, you'll want it if you're trying to flood something and flood your own devices. It's not legal to flood somebody else's devices without permission. You want to uncheck this one because that means it'll wait for the device to come back up again before it sends more information. Um, port is fine. You might want to try 443. Um, you might want, if it's a secure server, because secure websites use port 443, regular websites use port 80, TCP. You might want to you might want to um, try different ones with this because TCP packets go to a certain directly to a certain IP address. UDP packets go around a whole network. HTTP packets. I'm not going to go into like a whole big explanation on that. And basically. You can input a proxy server here if you want, but there's very few proxy servers that work with low orbit ionic cannon. Um, so yeah, and then once you're once you're done putting all that in, you just click attack, and it's for me it's saying connection refused because I don't have an internet connection right now. So. Uh, yeah, but once you click attack, it'll start. It'll start flooding, and uh, it you'll start seeing how much information is being sent down here. Um, and then once you're done, this will change to stop when it's attacking. Once you're done, you just you just change it to change it to stop. I'm gonna try something else to see if this works. See if I can connect directly to my own computer. No, okay. But yeah, if you were to put in a website, and yes, it is illegal to DDoS a website you don't own without permission, so do that at your own risk. Um, you just, uh, you just uh, um, 
input the name right here, click get, and it's not giving the IP address right now because I'm not connected to the internet. Once again, but there you go. So one trick you can do with this um, is that if you can lag other device, you can lag your own network, which is pretty cool. If you put this on a high enough thread, oh yeah, I forgot to mention this. Threads are basically how much power it'll attack with. So basically, the more the higher you make this number, the more powerful the attack will be. But in turn, the the higher you have it set, the more the more stress it'll put on your computer's processors. So yeah, um, that's really about it. Um, once you yeah, as I was saying, if you have. If you have permission to do this on a certain network or on your own network, what you can do is you can uh, lag your own network and, cr and uh, slow down other devices on the network with permission, of course. And uh, you can uh, you can have sort. That's a pretty cool trick to do. If you will not be able to bring be able to flood a big server or a big IP. Or like a big network with only one computer. The more computers you have, the more powerful your attack will be. But though once again, don't do that without permission. I wouldn't advise it because it is illegal. So that's about it. This is What's Up 2190, and I'm signing off. Have a nice day. The link to download will be in the description.